All right, let's say you are test driving a Gen 1 Nissan LEAF and you want to get an idea of how good the battery is. First thing to look at are these bars up here. There's two red ones and then some number of white ones. If it's brand new or pretty close to brand new, it'll have 12 total bars. This particular vehicle has eight white and two red, which is a 10 bar LEAF. Now there's also some large bars here. These large bars tell you how much the battery is currently charged, but they don't really indicate battery health. So this vehicle is at 26% charge, which is, you know, a quarter charged, and it says 24 miles for 26%. So you might think that's 100 miles of range at 100%, and that might be the case, but you also want to look over here, there's this button here. You push that button and you'll move through a couple of different average speeds, driving distance, the settings, how long the charge to, and here's the average economy. So this car has been driven uh, relatively economically, so it's getting 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, you're probably not going to get that on the freeway. So this 24 miles remaining with 25% charge is for city driving, maybe 35, 45 mile an hour roads that are don't have a lot of stoplights, that are long, you know, long roads with without a lot of stop rights. So if you were driving this on the freeway, you can expect to get somewhere between three and four, and so you'd have a lot less than 24 miles of range there. But it's a relatively good, this is a 2016, so it's a relatively good battery. You could expect that when you charge this guy all the way up, this number would go quite a bit higher. Also, this is a guessometer. It tells you its best guess. So the AC is on because it's hot right now. If you turn off the AC, that number will go up a little bit. You see it went up to 27 miles. If I turn it back on again, it goes down to 24. So, you know, that number isn't a very good estimate, but combined with how much the battery's charged and that number, along with looking at, hey, what's the average efficiency of the driving that's recently happened because that guessometer number there um, takes that into account. So if you had like a 2.0 here, this number is going to be wildly low. If you have 5.8 there, this number is going to be wildly high. So really, it's these battery bars that you want to pay attention to. The first battery bar, when it drops from 12 to 11, that's a lot more than all of the other battery bars. Because that first bar is worth up to 15% of the battery capacity, if you have a 12 bar leaf, it could be anywhere between 86% and 100% of its original battery capacity. You get a little bit better granular accuracy with the bars after that. Now a leaf with less than eight bars can still be useful for very short range commutes, but you really wanna know what you're getting into for that. Also, if you want to know, do I have the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger, you push this button a couple times, you get to how long is it going to take me to charge. This one does have the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. You can see it has two lines for 240 volts. One at 3 kilowatts, which is 5 hours and 30 minutes. Another at 6 kilowatts, which is 330. If you do not have the 6 kilowatt charger, you also will not have the Chatamo high-speed DC charging port. And it'll just have a single line for 240 volts and one line for 120 volts. So that's how you tell from the car dash if you have the... Um, uh, the 6 kilowatt charger. Many of them have the 6 kilowatt charger. If it has a Chatamo port, it guarantees it will have a 6 kilowatt charger. So sometimes from listing photos, you can just see the Chatamo port, um, and then you know it has a 6 kilowatt charger. But from the dash, that's how you figure it out.